Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how we can use the Vedic Maths method for finding cubes of any two digit numbers. Okay, so first thing that we need to be uh, very comfortable with is the cubes of all one digit numbers, cubes and squares. So I will write squares of all one digit numbers are very easy. So I will just write down cubes of all one digit numbers here before we start this examples. Uh, so 1 cube as we all know is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125, 6 cube is 216, 7 cube is 343, 8 cube is 512 cube means basically multiplying the same number three times i hope everybody knows that so eight a cube means eight multiplied by eight which is 64 then multiplied by eight again which comes to 512 and the final number is nine cube which is 729 okay so we have all the one digit cubes ready with us now we'll start with the first example i have written down 32 cube now to find 32 cube what we need to do is we'll use this as a and this as b okay so the method basically is we'll first write down the first number to be written down is a cube okay the next number to be written down is a square multiplied by b the third number to be written down will be a multiplied by b square and the final number will be b cube okay so the four numbers are to be written down first the first one starts with a cube then followed by one less power for the a and the b is introduced so a cube then followed by a square b then multiple uh, then the next number is a multiplied by b square so the power of b increases by one a reduces by one and the final is b cube okay so these four numbers will first write down so the a cube is 3 cube which is 27 then a square multiplied by b so 3 square is 9 9 multiplied by 2 is 18 then the next number is a multiplied by b square so we'll do b uh, take b square first b square is 2 square which is 4 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 and the final number is b cube b cube is basically 2 cube in this case so 2 cube is 8 so we have returned down the first four numbers then what the next step to be done is multiply these middle two numbers okay out of these four numbers only the middle two numbers are to be tripled so this multiplied by 3 and this one multiplied by 3 okay so 18 multiplied by 3 is 54 12 multiplied by 3 is 36 these two numbers remain as it is so this 27 will remain as it is this 8 will remain as it is and the final answer that we have is very easy to arrive at what we need to do is we'll take one digit from each number and carry the remaining part of the number to the following next uh, left number okay so here we have only one digit so nothing to be carried we'll just take this 8 in the units place of our answer then 36 so out of this the units place will be taken to the answer so 6 will be taken here and this 3 will be added into the next number so 3 being added to the next number becomes 54 plus 3 is 57 so 7 will be written down here that is the units place digit will be written in the answer and 5 will be carried to the next left number okay so this became 50 uh, 57 and this 5 is being carried to the next number so 27 plus 5 is 32 okay so 32768 that is 32768 is the cube of 32 let's look at the next example suppose uh, I'm, I'm to find the cube of 45 let's uh, write down the first part for 45 this will become our a this will become our b okay so first thing to write down is a cube a cube will be 4 cube which is 64 then the next part is a square multiplied by b so a square is 16 16 multiplied by 5 is 80 the next number will be b square multiplied by a so b square will be 25 multiplied by 4 which is 100 and the final number is b cube so 5 cube which is 125 okay i have first step is done 
the next step is multiply these middle two numbers by 3. So the middle 80 multiplied by 3 gives me 240. 100 multiplied by 3 gives me 300. This 64 and 125 will remain as it is 64 and 125. So the final answer, I'll start with the units place. This 5 will be taken in the units place of our answer. So 5 will be written here. This 12 will be carried to the next number. So 300 plus 12 becomes 312. So this becomes 312, right? So this out of this 312, this 2 will be written in the answer. And this 31 will be carried to the next number. So 31 being added to 240 makes it 271. Okay, so 271, this 1 will come in our answer and this 27 will get carried to the next number. So 64 plus 27 gives me 91. Okay, so the final answer for 45 cube is 91,125. Okay, this exactly the same method can be used for all two digit numbers, finding cubes of all two digit numbers. Uh, shall we take one more example? Suppose I am to find the cube of <coughs> the number 61. Whenever we have a digit, uh, a small digit in either of these two places, the procedure becomes very easy. I'll show you how. The, this becomes our A, this becomes our B. So first thing to be written down is A cube. A cube is basically 216. 6 cube is 216. So I'll write down 216. The next number to be written down is A square, which is 36 multiplied by B, which is 1. So 36 multiplied by 1 is 36 itself. The next is to be written down is B square multiplied by A. So B square is 1 itself multiplied by 6. So it will be 6 alone. And the final number will be 1 cube. So which is 1 itself. Okay. So this becomes very easy since the numbers are decreasing. And uh, the middle two numbers will be multiplied by 3. 36 multiplied by 3 is 108. 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. And these end two numbers will remain as it is. So this is 216 as it is. 1 is as it is. And we'll start with the final answer. 1 will go to the units place of our answer. Then out of this 18, 8 will go to the answer. And this 1 will get carried. So 108 plus 1 is 109. 109 out of this 109, this 9 will go to the answer. This 10 will be carried. So 216 plus 10 becomes 226. So the final answer that we have for 61 cube is 2,26,981. 2,26,981. So we have a six digit answer here, which is a cube of 61. And we, we can actually find this out, this answer in matter of less than 10 seconds after a little bit of practice. I have written all these things in detailed fashion just for explanation purpose. Once you get a good grip of this uh, procedure, you need not write down all these details and you can go as fast as possible to the answer. Okay, I hope this uh, method for finding cubes of all two digit numbers is uh, clear with everyone. In case of any difficulties, please do write it in the comments. I'll try and uh, attend to the, those difficulties in the following video. Thank you.